as Yankos or as a person, but then change significantly between when you were 18 and now? Um, excuse me, can you repeat the question? Yeah. Excuse me, can you repeat the question? Happy birthday. It's his birthday. Do you know how old he is today? No. Do you? No. I think See, he's 25. Asking me the question is a little bit unfair, <laughs> but perhaps he's going to get a gift in the lane as he looks forward. This gang spectral more goes wide. Blue with a good side set. Flashes away here, but Cap still has the chains, and Blue won't have his life much longer. Yankos gets the assist. There's actually a big window where the enemy jungler can like adapt their passing. They can actually look to punish you. So Mickey roaming up was actually covering, as we see in all inbox. Streets is on his way as well. Rex is trying to get away with a heal. Mickey uses the ignite on Jezu. Treats will look for that cleaver. Mickey stops still. Treats flashes forward. Mickey underneath the tower. One more cleaver will be enough, and Jezu secures it. Is able to jump away before the tower shot comes in. Yanko's on his way though in G2. Not done with this fight yet. Are TPing in. Jezu, no flash, no heal, no way to get away. But Caps with the TP is dead. On arrival, landed and immediately met his demise. Yankos has to flash away from the scatter of the week and Treats is still on the chase. Oh, Another no. bone saw after bone saw landing here from Treats and with surgical precision, SK finds three kills. And, and SK is able to immediately turn around and get a big punish. It's so hard to disengage from this SK composition when they get on top of you. Yankos here though, there's the spectral more. Blue will fall, Yankos gets the kill and now they're looking for more. Lilip will be chained up as the chase continues. Scatter the weak, knock back. Lilip stunned underneath the tower, won't get away as the double kill comes in for Yankos on the Syndra. He's looking for more. Or is Jax perhaps the one in danger? Might be, has no flash, could look to go all in on Reckless. Now we've seen Genax do these 2v1 plays before. It was in spring playoffs against Fnatic that he was able to turn the game around. They still lost it in the end, but Genax is trying to do it once again. All the TP's coming in. Yankos on a killing spree and he dives forward for blue. Don't really want to target that one on Treats because of course he has that stun resistance. Wonder though, has the Hexagold made him? Lilith's going to flash away, they're the chains from Caps. SK might still want to take this fight. Hexagold made him coming in, the Soul Player hits two. And Reckless dives in with almost that mythic item. Wonder's gonna dive here on GNX. Hexagold made him is available, and guess who's in the area? It's the birthday boy himself! Looking for a bit of a party in the top lane. Yankos on a rampage, 4-1-2. So they uh, kind of stopped G2 from scaling up too quickly with those, and Jezu, um, yeah, I'm sorry, oh, no. mate. You're pretty, oh, flashes away. Heartbreaker misses. Yankos, 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 Yankos! No, on his birthday, Reckless flashes in for the kill. And we'll be able to secure it. Patrice is going to try and chase down this guy, so the killer instinct will give him the shield. TP is coming in from SK as they look for a fight that perhaps they can take. Reckless trying to fight against the Mundo, but you just don't beat the doctor. Treats gets the kill. Reckless Sadie carry in 2021. Lull isn't able to do too much. Mickey with the cask here. But that's the fear beyond death as Yenex reels him in. And we don't often see these sort of more split push orientated comps in the current meta. A lot of it around dragon fights, around these team fights, getting that's towards true. Soul, getting towards Elder. Of. And Caps has TP'd into this. This fight. Caps going in, Lilip there on the front line, pops the stopwatch, TP coming in, Wonder dives onto Jezu on the back line. The most gold in the game, but that stopwatch gonna keep him alive. Wonder trying to do what he can, but Treats is on a killing spree, and Jezu is still alive. Watch that Tristana, Reckless has dived in and killed off Blue, but the Tristana still there, and now G2, only three members strong, had to fight against four. Yankos, the greatest Cinder in the game, apparently, as he manages to get Caps a double. A beautiful scan of the week from Yankos from the side. He goes in with the Leona as well, but Genex is just trying to fight for his life. Can't quite do it! Dragon down to about 300. Lilip going in with the solar flare, but can't quite land it. That dragon down now secured by Yankos. Lilip ignited, and now the fight really begins as G2 can push forward. Treats trying to get away. Genex caught out by Wonder. Reckless diving in with the killer instinct as well. And Genex can pop the stopwatch only once, but immediately afterwards he goes off. G2 looking for a little bit more. Now let's go! Oh, blue! He's just gone all the way back to the fountain. Nothing he could do about that. And Yankos is on the chase. Treats will be stunned. Not often you see a Mundo CC'd, but for the moment, G2 continue on the chase. Jezu gets one, jumps away. Scatter the week goes wide. Wonder dives in into the middle of SK. We'll have to flash away the solar flag going just a little bit away from where Wonder was. Cap's still pushing in, looking for Lilith. Flashes in, messes up the distortion and has to pop the stopwatch because otherwise those tower shots would have found their mark. Blue, though, dived on by Mickey and Wonder. And now in a 4v5, SK can't really defend. The first Nexus tower goes down. Reckless dives in, Wonder dives in, Yankos dives in. And all SK do is a die. Treat trying to survive, trying to find a way back into the game, but he just can't do it. Reckless with a double. Jesu. Holy moly, that damage is absurd from Caps. The chains don't land. Genax acting as a good body block. But G2 
after trying to get off Jezu and Genex on the fountain will secure the win and will lock Mad Lions into playoffs. Mazel might look for the mid dive, but he has been spotted in a war flash route. Yanko's waited in the bush. It's going to be a one for one trade. A lot of their investment usually goes into caps, especially in recent weeks. He's been playing more of those lane dominant champions, which he hasn't really had access to. And in the first half of the split, he was definitely struggling. Back into form, get flashes off. in. Shockwave, Yanko's on the chase. Wind becomes lightning. VTO, no flash to get away, and Yanko's will secure the kill. I'll be honest, caps is on his way. way. Oyana's on his way, Razzle going in there, look at the damage, but there's the quickness coming out from Mickey. He's gonna dive away, Moonlight Vigil used as well, and Kobe now in the firing line. There's a shockwave flash away from by Razzle. Griffheld will get a charge in. Importantly, Razzle does get that gold. Reckless jumping forward, Razzle jumping away. And they're gonna contest it, look at Panda on the flank. Razzle looking to get in, Yankos dives onto here in Dominus Paul. Oh. Mickey on the back line, but Mickey is burst before he can do too much. Kobe trying to do the damage as he can, if Bernal Drake goes down, one for one trade so far. Actually, one for nil. So they're not going to lose too much on the back of that. Wonder, 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 wonder. Razzle immediately meets him in the jungle, and Wonder puts down the cannon barrage. Glacial Fisher coming out. Reckless knocked up by it. Gangplank's going to catch the bot wave. Now Misfits looking for the opportunity. Here it's already here. Razzle has the spectral more. Here it here, as you say. Yanko's trying to get away, but there's the root. Reckless rooted on the back line. Here it jumping in. The Crescent Guard's going to do a lot of work here for Yanko's, and now Hibbert is the one who has the flash for safety. Cannon barrage comes out. Lock it used. Mickey dives in with the charm, and here it's down. And he saved the shockwave. But for that moment, Caps hits it. Kobe will not quite fall. He'll be the last one standing as Reckless is jumping forward, looking for the kill. Gets the speed up from the Ariana. One auto attack and a satchel ticking, ticking, ticking. And Kobe says a final goodbye. Reckless takes the shutdown. G2 take the fight. Clean ace for G2 as they round out their game against Misfits. I mean, honestly, we could have ended the game maybe on the third Drake. I think I landed three-man ult, but my Oriana was not ready. So then the fight after, I had to tell him beforehand, I'm going in, are you ready? So then he was ready, and then we ended the game. So yeah, it was longer than it had to be because, you know, Oriana had to be a bit micromanaged, but happens. <laughs>